All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya and Anderson Silva. Former UFC middleweight champion Anderson the Spider Silva is set to make the walk here tonight. This is a man still getting it done in his mid-40s, DC. Proved in the Israel Adesanya fight that he could still hang in there over a hard 15 minutes with the best guys in the Anderson world. Silva is still able to compete even though he's up there in age a little bit. And that's because of his commitment to the sport of mixed martial arts. He loves competing. He loves the spotlight. Everything that you need to drive you to be able to stay active and stay relevant in this sport, Anderson Silva possesses. Every time he steps foot in the octagon, we get a chance to witness one of the greatest fighters of all time. And when DC needed an opponent for UFC 200 on about 24 hours notice, the greatest of all time was your Huckleberry. Not too bad. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Silva is 14 years the elder. Adesanya will have a three inch reach advantage. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the Spider Silva. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Despite asking you shall receive as round one gets underway between Anderson Silva and Israel Adesanya, and the focus for the last style bender here tonight is on the finish. It has to be. He has to go out there and make a statement. He has to go out there and take one of his longtime Whoa! Oh, big left hook there. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a mess. We gotta fight, folks. Back 
to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, he'll change his stance. Adesanya gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Silva. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Good jab. A single collar tie here. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice loop and punch. Nice hook, Lance. Oh, straight right. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Beautiful body kick, Lance, right under the elbow. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just over two minutes to go. Big punch lands. Ooh. Under two minutes in round one. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Asanya. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Silva gets... Whoa! He Whoa! Back to the feet! Under a minute now to go round one. Lands a big elbow there. guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very very explosive. Oh, nice strike landed there by Adesanya. Left hook to the head. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Left hand counter by Silva. Well, Silva's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coach. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. 
He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Round two is on the way. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that right hand. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Can't take many of those. You better check. Single collar tie now. He's grabbing the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head. And then land. Oh, big knee. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And another thwack there to the outside of that lead leg. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection is blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Big head kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 80 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Anderson Silva. A combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Silva gets caught with that punch. Ooh, head kick land. He's hurt. Big kick. Missed with that right hand. Front kick to the body by Silva lands flush. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Effective strike there by Adesanya. Very slowly now, time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Ooh! Oh, 
How about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back. Two to mix up the target. Tight to behold. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Third round underway. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Great punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Slips. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, you wonder how many more shots the opposition can take. 134 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And landing with 42% accuracy thus far against Anderson Silva. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's oh. landing. Huge shots there. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Man, Adesanya with a beautiful land on the feet. His fights can be hard to call because it's just constant motion. Crazy. I mean, he, he has it, right? He's that guy that kind of has it. He's taken this world of MMA by storm, and now he's the UFC champion. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes, and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen. Whoa! Well. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Wow. I mean, geez, Louise. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. That kick blocked by Adesanya. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurting. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there. Man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Spinning back fist. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Back and forth we go. Oh, huge block. Nice head kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Switching stances here. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him.
whips on the straight right hand. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Silva. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice straight punch. Oh! Seconds winding down in round three. And he landed the right hand there. The big kick land. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Here's round four, fight scheduled for five, five minute rounds. Silva's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really shown. Oh! He's out! He got him! Woo! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anderson the Spider Silva! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. <laughs>